Hey, my name is Frederick, and you are watching a ChinaPortal.com video tutorial. And this one is about drone manufacturers in China. Or should I should actually say drone manufacturers in Shenzhen, uh, because that's the city where they are all based. Uh, so I'm going to give you an overview of uh, China's biggest drone manufacturers and answer a few questions about creating your own uh, drone, be that a custom designed OEM product or a private label one. But first, let's go into the biggest uh, drone manufacturers in China. And first, of course, we have DJI or uh, Dajiang Innovation, uh, which is based in Shenzhen. And, <coughs> excuse me, uh, DJI is, uh, I think they are number one in the world now when it comes to consumer products, consumer drones. And they have opened up flagship stores uh, in North America, in Hong Kong, and maybe in Europe. I'm not so sure about that. But either way, they've been around for um, more than a decade now, like the mid 2000s. Um, um, and they they have these camera drones. They have all kinds of different drones and their own software platform. So they have everything from these fairly small uh, toy looking drones to uh, drones that are used in movie productions and so on. Very sophisticated, high quality product. And it is interesting because DJI is, is one of the first uh, Chinese brands that you know China can really be proud of in a way. It's a homegrown brand uh, for a product, uh, the consumer drone. I mean, we know that drones existed before, but consumer drones did not really exist until brands like DJI came out to the scene and even then it took a long time before before uh, they became uh, a known brand like they are today so uh, definitely a, a company uh, to watch in the future and they have they are not only big in China they are very very internationally focused some even say that they cover something like 50% of the consumer drone market. So this is, I, I'm not sure if they're public yet, but if they are, you might want to look into that. All right, uh, let's go to the next one. And it's going to be hard to uh, to top uh, DJI in this one, but there are many other really interesting uh, drone companies in, uh, in Shenzhen these days. And one of them is uh, Shiro or Shiro, yeah, I, I'm not sure how they say that, but Shiro is how I guess they say it, or Zero UAV Intelligence Tech. Okay, and this one is is the H HQ is also in in Shenzhen. They have an office in in uh, in Beijing, and they've been around almost as long as DJI, uh, 2007 to be specific, and they are known for. Yeah, what they call smart drones. They have an existing uh, series of, uh, um, well, consumer drones going from very small models to, to the bigger ones. Uh, and they have some fairly exotic designs. So definitely worth to check out. And then we have FlyPro, also based in Shenzhen. Shenzhen FlyPro Aerospace Tech. And they are known for the high quality drones, so that's what they say at least. Uh, I'm not sure if they are more or less high quality than anyone else, but anyway, that's 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 the brand angle. So we're gonna go with that. I never used the any any of the drones in, in this in this video anyway, so who am I to speak? Either way, also based in Shenzhen, uh, they have an existing uh, existing product line apparently they also offer private labeling which makes them quite unique they they also have uh, some uh, some of the products are a bit more uh, well uh, for personal use like selfie drones and so on but definitely an interesting uh, fast-growing company that you should keep your eyes on and especially if you're looking to private label your product it's very difficult to go into uh, custom designing your own drone and creating a uh, PCB schematic and spec sheet from scratch so uh, if you want to just brand your drone then this might be a better option for you I'm not sure if they still offer that but at least they used to according to my sources alright then we have Ehang. Ehang is it's a bit different some may even say that they're not really making drones uh, you may remember the Ehang 184 
and that was that was introduced about two years ago I think it was at CES and what they do is that they are making the very first drone taxis okay so if you've seen Blade Runner you got an idea what that might look like or well Star Wars episode 2 uh, but we're not there yet but at least at least the flying car is actually becoming reality and e -Hang, they have a working prototype or more than a prototype I would say uh, they're being tested in Dubai and these are unmanned of course that's the very definition of a drone so they're making drone taxis which makes them very different from the others they are more into vehicles that can take more than just photos or deliver a package uh, from point A to B definitely an interesting company all right then we have Yun EC unique yeah maybe that's what it's supposed to be unique international co limited and this one is is uh, is the granddad on this list they have been they they actually they were founded in in the late 90s in 1999 okay and before most of us even knew what a drone was, I guess it was only <laughs> only the Pentagon using the term drone back then. Um, so they've been around for a long time. They have uh, they have quadcopters. They have a range of different drones uh, for consumer usage. All right. Then we have Xiaomi, and Xiaomi is. Not a drone company, it's a phone company. They're known for their phones and their app ecosystem. But they have been branching out into all kinds of different consumer electronics, including uh, consumer drones. Okay, So this is the lower end of the spectrum. These are more, well, toy-like drones. They can, they can shoot videos and so on. So it doesn't mean that they're bad quality. It's just, that, it's just that if you're looking for something more sophisticated, then this night might not be it for you. But of course, if you're looking for something to play around with, then a Xiaomi drone might be a perfect fit. All right, is it p possible to private label drones? Yes, you have, if you go and say Alibaba or Global Sources, you will find that you have many uh, OEM suppliers making uh, OEM drones or ODM drones and you can take one of those and you can say hey I want it I want this drone uh, branded with my logo for example the, ri the, the issue is software like how uh, what kind of software will you use do they provide a software how do you how does it work with updates with with uh, yeah with, with future software updates and so on all of those things have to be worked out with the supplier Can you custom design a, uh, a drone? Yes, you can. But don't expect that you can go to one of these companies or even one of the smaller OEM drone firms and say, hey, um, I got this concept, I got this idea about what I want this drone to be. You have to provide them with some, uh, you have to provide them with a spec sheet. And this means a BOM. You need to have a PCB schematic. You need to have the source code. You need to have everything. Um, you even need to have a functional prototype before you can go uh, to one of these drone makers and say, hey, let's go for a test batch. Um, so you can't just go to, to, to a drone supplier and say, hey, I, I got this idea. Now spend $2 million to make it become reality. It doesn't really work like that. It's still a fast moving industry and it's not the easiest one to break into. But if you do have a good idea or if you want to go into private labeling for one of the, well, toy drones or, well, Know, these consumer drones then you got the private labeling option at least but going for an OEM product in the drone space that's something you don't pull off in an afternoon it's gonna take commitment and money what is the MOQ the minimum order quantity and that tends to be three to five hundred pieces slightly less when it comes to these more heavy industrial drones uh, or well uh, industrial drones is not the right right term but but um, these heavier more sophisticated drones but it's up to the supplier to decide. 